to Drunk Lesbians Watch. Today we have with us... Ashley Perez. Yay! Yay! The theme of this episode is... Girls. Girls! Today we are watching the movie The Handmaiden. AKA the movie that you guys have been asking for since the beginning of Girlship. And we're finally biting the bullet and watching a two and a half hour movie. I have not seen this movie. I haven't seen this movie either. I don't know much about this movie except for I know it's a thriller and I know it's two and a half hours long. And it's Korean and it's directed by the director of Old Boy, which is like regarded as one of the best movies ever. Let's read the synopsis for The Handmaiden. A gripping and central tale of two women, a young Japanese lady living on a secluded estate and a Korean woman who is hired to serve as her new handmaiden. Ooh. Then let's jump into it. We're very excited. We've got our drinks. I've got champagne. You've got beer. Did you just finish your beer? I did. All right. We'll get well, another drink. We're going to need more. Uh, we've got The Handmaiden. Cheers. Cheers. So I lived in Korea for a year. Did you know that? Did you? I yeah. think I did know that. I, that's where I got my job at BuzzFeed. I like wrote a post that went viral when I was in Korea. The reason I'm here today is because my family got kicked out of Korea by the Japanese. Oh. Japanese is subtitled in yellow. All well, of the have... dialogue is Korean. Now I can read two colors? So name, interesting. Right? So the, the no. Japanese took over the Koreans in 1910 and they were crazy, like worse than the Germans. They made them give up their last name, stop speaking Korean for the most part. And so I think it looks like these are probably Korean women who live in Japan and work as like their servants. Oh. Yeah. So this... really forbidden love. Oh, she's cute. The girl who's going, is that the one who's going to hook up with? So they're making her go. To Japan, I think, or to a Japanese woman's house. Beautiful shot. Yeah, it's very well made. Oh, oh my, my God. God. Are we watching a, a beautiful movie? Because most lesbian movies, the budget's like $10. Who's master? Maybe the husband of the, oh, the lady's handmaiden, yeah. So this is some Beauty and the Beast, Beast vibes, but if Belle had fallen in love with the Beast's wife instead. <laughs> this is spooky. Are we watching a spooky lesbian drama? Maybe. Oh, she lives in a closet. Like Harry Potter? <laughs> oh, she has night terrors? Is there a baby or a... Oh, you, she hasn't met you yet. This is gonna be very jarring. Already a nightingale mm. syndrome here. Oh, she's sleeping? Wait, oh, what? What? <laughs> what just happened? What? Okay, I want gay stuff now. This man is going to seduce a Japanese woman so that he can take her name and fortune. Yes. Great. Okay. Sounds pretty shitty. Uh, I didn't. Right? I, I don't know how much more I can drink and like pay attention to what the hell's going on. So what are they gonna do? He's gonna take a handmaiden with him for what? So she can take all of the dresses and the, oh. the jewelry. Oh, but the plan is gonna get thwarted because she's gonna, gonna fall, fall in love. love. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh no, does she keep notes about her handmaiden? She's gonna write gay Or is she gonna it. teach her? <laughs> she's gonna write gay on yeah. it. Yeah, it just says <laughs> gay question mark. In Korea and Japan, it's rude to go like this when you're calling someone. You have to go like this. Oh, I've never done this though before. What about? Come here. Like I, when you ask someone to come here, you like go like this usually. Oh. In, in Japan and Korea, you have to go like this. But after I lived in Korea, I couldn't stop doing it. So now I'm like. Oh, they are te So she's teaching her. Oh. She's gonna take care of her. Of course they're gonna fall in love. Who's she's about gonna find to her vibrator. do some robbing? Oh, or find a vibrator. Well, now you're bathing her. What? Oh no, let me see. She's got a thimble, I think. She's just gonna file it down. This looks weird. But also, why is it romantic? Why are we? <laughs> is she gonna kiss her after she files her teeth down? Oh, she's looking at her boobs. Whoa! Wow, it's just a full on shot of this woman's boobs. Sure is. Oh, she drooling? Oh! What? what? Oh. Oh. This is steamy! Are we getting into sexing this early? Oh. Slip your hand inside of where? Are pickpockets better fingers than everybody else? Oh, probably. Uh oh. oh. Naked time. Oh, whoa! Is this it? This is, this is like Carmilla, I fucking told you. They're just like tape, putting corsets on and off. Just to take them off. 
Oh, so she's in love with the count or she's like waiting for, she's just waiting till two when she can see the count. Yeah. And her handmaid is like, this is bullshit. Yeah. You don't need no man. Every gay woman has had this experience where you have to talk to your straight best friend about a boy she likes. And you're like, yeah, he seems really nice. I'm sure he really likes you. I'm sure nobody else likes you as much as he does. Oh no, wait, I thought that you liked her. Oh. When you're trying to get it, see this is probably- she knows what's up? She does, right? I think so. I think, I feel like this is definitely a case for why you shouldn't date a coworker. <laughs> why? Cause she's very clearly into her and she's like, I don't want to have these feelings anymore, but mm. oh, yeah, she can't force to be with her. her. Yeah. yeah you're right. Sex? Oh my god, is she gonna show her? Uh, let's play husband and wife. This is how this goes down? Oh. My friends never taught me to kiss. Did I have bad friends? Oh, I wish. Whoa! Oh, now they're making out. Oh, Ooh, shit. tongue. Oh, that's a lot of that's tongue. aggressive tongue. <laughs> oh, that's tonsil hockey right there. Oh shit! And he's gonna do this to you, dude. Every person who had to talk to their straight friend about a boy <laughs> would have loved this. Um, flashy ring, man. This is a terrible idea. So when is the crime? They're for sure gonna kill this dude, right? Oh God. She's gonna have to listen to it. Oh. Have you ever had to listen to a crush have sex? No, have you? Yes. It's not fun. Oh! What? Oh my God. Careful, girl. Oh! Right there? Yeah, that was you right there. You would have fucking seen that. You know what this is like? What? Jane the Virgin. With who? With uh, Rosa or with Rose, Rose and, and uh, Louisa? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Louisa gets committed. Maybe Jane by saw Rose. This. Oh, wait, wait, is she her? being committed? <gasps> they're calling her Countess. <gasps> did not see that coming. Me neither. Holy fucking shit. Wait, did she know what was happening then? Because she was the one who was like, let's play handmaid oh, did and dressed her up like that. <gasps> Whoa! Oh no! Oh no! No, I hate it! Maybe she falls in love with her, but then she wants her money more? They're putting bells in their vaginas? Oh, I feel bad for the handmaiden. So, I, yeah, I can't tell if she's really in love with her or not. I think now she's in love with her. I think she's like, she was just doing it for money, but I think she fell in love with her. But then obviously she like sends her to the fucking mental institution. She's still, well, the same way she still kind of tries. It's, it's almost the same thing, because she still goes through with the plan to send her. Mm -hmm. So they kind of just fuck each other, but she just ends up getting fucked the most. As a scene of them fucking happens. My what? God! <laughs> this is what are we looking at? It, it's pretty close to the Black Swan oh, angle. Oh, this is what happened in Black Swan? I do not. You don't remember, remember this. that? Like this is what happens in Black Swan. Not that angle, but the other one where you look down and you just see Mila Kunis eating out Natalie Portman. Yeah. Oh, There's we're 69 no Oh my. <laughs> okay, well, we can't oh. show any of this on the internet. <laughs> so you're just going to cut to us and our faces? They're straight up 69 69ing right now. <laughs> oh, very aggressively. Wow. Never thought I'd watch that with you. <laughs> Wow, this is very long. I told you it was like seven minutes long. At least there's... You must be a natural. Oh, they're they scissoring? scissoring. They're totally scissoring. Wow. That's a thing that we just watched. Will we ever be the same? <laughs> Our friendship has changed. Why is this 
the show that we do. So I'm going to go to the show that we do. Oh, how many twists? Both parts were too long, but now I'm like super interested in the story. Yeah, agreed. All the women turn against the men. This is like some Game of Thrones shit. Oh. Wow, how did how does this have so many tones? I know. What the fuck? I feel like we've seen. Maybe now that's we're watching why like a beautiful like Titanic. Wow, this movie took thousands of turns. Oh, oh yay! If this is the movie where the lesbians end up happy, gonna oh. There goes the wedding ring. She looks good like that. I know. Now they can fuck. Are they on a boat? Oh, it is a wig. You were right. Oh, hot look. Are they naked already? Sure are. What? Oh <laughs> my god. <laughs> what on earth? All right, this video is just going to be demonetized. I just have to live with it. No. Oh. Oh, it's the bells! It's the bells! Oh, they're gonna put them in the vagina! Oh, this, re this movie really doesn't let anything not happen later. This is... I can't believe this is the last scene. This is really happening. Now I regret that the other scene wasn't the last scene. What? Oh my god! This is softcore porn. This is... It's not even softcore! Is this the last thing? This is what we're ending on. This is definitely what we're ending on. <laughs> they escaped all of that to just fuck each other in an estate room. With bells. Oh, all the bells and whistles. We're gonna the end keep, of the movie. We're gonna keep hearing the jingling. Oh my god. Every time what on earth? a bell in a vagina rings, a lesbian gets her wings. You know what? The filmmaking of this movie is stunning, though. <laughs> and they fucked happily ever after. What a ride. That was crazy. That was crazy. <laughs> Who wrote? What? Wow, that was crazy. Amanda and I cannot look at each other in the eye anymore. That was <laughs> once nuts. you once you watch the handmaiden. Two women shove bells up into each other. <laughs> There's just no going back. I did not know we were watching this. I thought we were gonna watch like a music video or something. You know, it is. It's nice to see a lesbian couple end up together. That's true. It was a happy ending. But you, a very was, happy ending for In everyone. more ways than one. <laughs> but you don't think that you're going to see that, so. <sighs> Where can people find you on the internet? Oh my God, I'll be hiding under a rock. <laughs> uh, you can find me at ITS Ashley Perez on Instagram and Twitter. You can find me at Awkward Holland if you want to support queer content. Please donate to our Patreon, link below. If you don't have the money to support, that's fine. Please just share our videos and let people know about the channel. Uh, we have merch now, so check oh, out our merch, merch at shop.spreadshirt.com slash girlshiptv. Also, me, Ashley, and Kirsten, who is not here, have a podcast called Queer as Fiction, where we write fan fiction. That is not anywhere near as graphic as this. No, we just, it's all about the buildup. Yep, um, I'm done with the kiss always, that's it. <laughs> oh my god. We do these videos every week, so come back for the drunk queer fun.